everyone, this is Scott from TheAlexition.com, and today I'll be showing you how to configure the My Arcade Plugin Pro, so that way not only is it fetching the games automatically, but it will automatically publish them. We're going to start off in your settings page. You have your general settings. You're able to save users' high scores. High scores come from the IB Arcade. It used to be Mochi, but Mochi is no longer supported. They're going to fix this in the latest update to remove that. Only save only high scores is great because it will prevent users from one taking up the entire leaderboard and two having too many submissions. If they have 500 submissions from one person, that's kind of useless to your database. It's just going to fill it up, and you don't want to have a, a large database because your hosting provider does not appreciate that. So only save the high scores. Publish games. How many games to be clicked while publish? Uh, keep it at 20, a safe amount at the most. Don't do an absurd amount like a thousand because it could lead to the page crashing. It will also cause a huge memory spike if you have too many going, and it could cause your CPU usage to go way up, especially if you're doing it for a long period of time. Post status. Choose publish in your scheduled time. Just leave it at the default of 60. Download the thumbnails. It will download thumbnails for games that are able to. If you don't have a lot of space, you can uncheck this. Download the games. Should the game be imported to your server? If it can do an import, it will. If you do a configuration such as iframes, then this will never work. But click yes, yes, yes. And delete game files. If you delete the game from your website, so if it's a broken game, this will delete the files. This is great because it will help delete excess files that are no longer needed and are just taking up space on your server. You can do your folder organization which is the, this is the best settings that you're going to get. Automated and cron settings. Okay. Yes to automated game fetching. I have it disabled right now for game fetching. Do an interval that you like. I don't recommend doing every minute because that can hurt your server. It's fairly annoying for it to keep requesting. If you are going to do it to a minute, only make it fetch one game and publish one game. If you do too many and it's constantly doing that, you're going to get a backflow. So it's going to have, let's say you do 10 games and it only publishes 8. Well then it's going to have 2 plus 10 and it's just going to keep stacking up as the server keeps trying to rapidly publish them through here. So I recommend always doing it. Personally, when I started it off, I had doing it every 15 minutes. That was a good start. I do it every hour now because I have a, a larger collection of games. AdSense does not like casino games. Therefore, it is best to disable them. They don't like online casinos. They can be bad. <laughs> they just disable casino games for your safety unless you plan on only using something such as CPM Star or Epic Game Ads. Create the categories will allow the games to create categories if they're not already there. Use a parent category if you're only if you have a website that's a news site but you want to have games too, you can do this. Have a parent category of games and then have your game categories underneath. So that way you can offer games, they won't interfere with your home page, and they won't take a bunch of space in your categories because they'll all be subcategories of one parent. So if you're having a new site, I recommend setting a games or a video games category. Actually, I prefer like online games, something that's not going to be in a review or type of post. And then just put all of them under that. So you come over here and select, oh, coloring, that's going to be my master thing. And then therefore, they'll all be published under there. there you, therefore, you can create pages in, of these games that will not affect your homepage. That's going to be the most annoying part use only the first category. I don't use this um, personally, but it's actually generally a good thing to do this. Many game developers tag their games with more than one category. You can do this because it also helps cross-link them, so if they're playing, let's say you have a, your related post shown to play action games and something's in action and it's in a rhythm game, so they're like playing music, and it's action based, they'll be able to play over there too. It doesn't really affect your site at all to do this either way. Max game width optional, I ignore this setting. 
but you can set it if you are t specifically creating a site of HTML5 games that are only to work on mobile, which is a very, 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 very targeted website, um, you can set a maximum width for the game. Publish a game in a single category. I don't recommend doing this. If you have a mixed site, you'll find this to be useful. Publishing a game in a single category. So if you only, if you want to ignore all those other categories and don't want to do the parent category option, what you can do, and you can just say, okay, I don't care if it's an action, a shooter, or a strategy game, you can just say that it's just a flash game. You and just put it as a flash game, and then all the games will just be labeled as flash game, as opposed to these categories. Use the Swifo object, enable this. Activate the post description, only do the description because many themes are already built in to do the instructions, the thumbnails, and everything else. Disable game tags, I don't recommend doing. If you don't want an excess amount of tags, then you may find this useful. Specifically, if you're on a uh, if you're on a website that's again news related or something that's not purely arcade, I recommend disabling game tags. Allow users to post games if you have a contributor or you want developers to be able to submit their own games and allow this option. Otherwise, there's no need. If you want to force your users to register after playing so many games, hit this option and say after five guest plays they'll have to register. And here's the message that you can show them. I don't recommend doing this because it can bring down your revenue and how many people are actually playing your games. Gameplay delay. This is leave it at the default of 30 seconds. This is used for cue points in the contest plugins that are compatible with it. Your post type. Select a post type that you want to use with the MyArcade plugin. If you have a custom post type that you can get from custom post type UI, I recommend doing this. For instance, if you create one that's called game or video game, then you'll want to set it as that. Otherwise, you'll have no use for this option. Again, you'll find this useful if you're using a mixed site such as a news site that has video games like CNN. Ignore categories and game tags customonies. If you're using an arcade site that is only that is if you're not using an arcade site such as the fun games theme or other themes that are purely arcade hit this therefore when you show up in your feeds or your categories it will show the featured image which will look better but typically you won't find a use for this however if you're using if you have a home page and you've got world news tech and then over here you've got some of your games that you have, you'll find use for this. However, most sites will have no use for this. If you're using the fun games theme, don't enable that. <clears throat> if you want to translate your games into different languages, such as Spanish, Italian, or other things that Microsoft Translator offers, then you're able to configure it using the client ID and the secret password. You can change the output language here to be one of, uh, one of these following languages. However, keep in mind that you're going to need to purchase an ID from Microsoft and the same goes for Google. They both pretty much offer the same languages. However, as you can see, Google's going to have a few more, but Microsoft also offers the same ones that you're going to want. If you want to translate it, make sure you translate the game, the description, the instructions, and the tags in game types to translate. If Typically, you'll want to select all of them if you're going for a multi-language site. Category mapping. This allows you to publish games in translator summarize instead of using the predefined names. Okay. You can create mapping, so if you select action, I've set it to action. So this is basically all you're gonna really want to do. If again, Big Fish Games, if it's got a native category of adventure, you can set it to adventure and so on and so forth. Most of these categories are already added, so there's no need to worry about this. However, it's always nice to have it mapped out. And I ignore the casino ones because we don't do casino games. Advanced features. If you want to delete everything, delete all of the games, you can uh, remove deleted games. It will be removed from the database. Delete blank or zero scores, clean your database so that way all the scores are deleted. 
and all these with zero scores or ones that are basically blank or never actually submitted, you can delete them. Don't use these settings unless you are experienced with the plugin. Now we're going to get into the automated fetching and publishing. <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over to two player games and you're going to say fetch all categories, yes. Automated game publishing, yes. And how many games should be published on every cron trigger. So how many games are published automatically? Two games are published automatically from this one. Unless I say that the amount published up here is less than two. So for instance, if all my categories say game feeds tell me that they're going to publish two and I have 12 different services, that's going to be 24. But if I tell it to say, okay, only publish five games, it's only going to publish five. Go into your arcade game feed and configure it again to the fetch games. How many games should be fetched at once? Uh, you can change this to 50. Automated fetching, they will be. You could change how many, make sure you enable it, enable it, and then choose how many you want to be published. <clears throat> Typically, if you have a site that has, if you're trying to focus on multiplayer games but you want other games, what you can do is you could tell it, import 10 from the two player games but only submit one from the other ones. So you'll get a lot more multiplayer games, and but you'll still get the other one play, single player games. That way you have a mixed site that is still targeted. <clears throat> Big Fish Games offers uh, an affiliate program. Therefore, I recommend grabbing an affiliate code from them which you can sign up over here. <clears throat> so put your username, your affiliate code, the game types that you want, online games of course. Your language is English, hopefully, or else this plugin is going to be kind of difficult for you because we're not done translating it. Then change all of these from and ignore the casino unless you're not using AdSense. Create the game categories and then game featured image you could set to 175 by 150 or whatever thumbnail size you recommend. They recommend to the default of medium, which is what I should have. Description, bullets, and buy, the, leave these to the default. Automated game publishing, how many games will be published? I put two. Flash game distribution, left with the default, do 50. Fetch games of two, yes, yes, two, two. You can set any number you want. You have yes, and then two. Automated game publishing, ooh. I did not do game pick six. Only because game picks actually offers a revenue share. Game picks is publishers. Get HTML5 games, engage your users, and monetize traffic. <clears throat> You're able to monetize your traffic because they will actually share revenue with your games. Okay, so customize your widget and publish the best HTML5 games on your website. Build a custom web portal with top quality games. You can do this and you can get the API to show this off. Okay, here's the revenue issue. Reve join the revenue share. Follow the wizard to publish top quality games and enter your dashboard to track the real time generated with in-game ads. So basically, Let's say they publish a game and you get someone who goes on there and gets it and they click on it and it's worth a dollar. You're going to get 70 cents of that click. I believe they offer 70% revenue share. That's This is a great, a great way to help bring an extra revenue. So what you can do is join the revenue share program. I recommend joining it. You come over here, you just contact them and say, hey, I'm going to create a portal site. I want you to join your revenue share program. Will you accept me? Come over here and click the publisher support or generic info and other inquiries. Type in and just say, hey, I want to be able to share your games and share revenue with you. And they'll say, oh, okay. And they'll accept you. I have not yet joined it, but I'm going to. Game Picks offers a lot of good games, and, and you can automatically do it. However, I really recommend that you join the Revenue Share program to get a proper feed URL with your affiliate. So don't go pulling in the games until you start making deals with them. And of course, make sure you don't call in casino games. 
go to congregate just make sure that again you click yes and then the amount of games that you want my arcade feed I have special feeds selected from it one comes pre-configured which is games.myarcade plugin blah 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 I got another one from another website which has the same which has the plugin to allow it to do it so I have that as well but again come down here click fetch all categories and it will publish them automatically because it's going to fetch them all go to Sierra mm -hmm, and make sure that you do the default again make sure that it's click yes for automatic publish this many games and the game list will automatically be here and they provide sponsored game XML feed so if you want you can you should be able to sign up for them and say XML game list and this is their default ones but you are able to get a sponsored game XML feed if you try and contact them and leave the default in spill games <laughs> there's a lot here spill games provides up 1500 so come over here and the, some of their games are not able to their domain locked so you can't host them so you, you gotta you gotta do this properly come over here and choose your spill games and your RSS feed as you can see they have over 2,000 games that needs to be updated on the plugin side 2,000 games but what am I gonna do I can see what do you want to know you can publish the games you have to embed them Auto automatic RSS feed this is your RSS feed but what we're gonna have to do is say fetch the games put the image thumbnail that you want in the game player API they're planning on adding revenue sharing through this feature later I recommend enabling it because revenue sharing is wonderful because now here's what you gotta look at you're getting revenue not only from your advertisements but because the publishers are saying wow you're sharing our games and helping us get more revenue thank you here's some more so you're getting revenue not only from them showing up to play games on your site but you're getting revenue for playing games that are not necessarily your own because you're helping the publisher get more revenue <clears throat> automated game fetching yes it set the amount of games automated game publishing yes again and the unity feeds all the category games because there's not a lot here this is your unity feed you can try and see if there's more there's typically only one feed but it's in got its fair site got a my arcade referral because it's that popular of a plugin really really popular plugin unity feeds and you could see how many this thing brings in so here's this one this is just everything however you can try and use other ones as well make sure you click yes to automated game publishing and publish two games and after that you should have automatic publishing from the Mara Kid plugin every one of those will be sending in their feeds their games and you won't have to lift a finger it'll automatically fetch them and publish them for you so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for another video if you have any questions comments or concerns put them in the comments below and if you are in the revenue sharing program let us know in the comments below i want to know how those programs are and if they're in decent so thank you very much for watching and goodbye